Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you quickly the significance of the some important commands under modified toolbar. So let's start with the trim command. So for that, let's create a situation. Let's say that here we have a circle and then say we have a rectangle over here. So here we see that uh, the circle and the rectangle are intersected to each other. And here we want to remove some part of this rectangle and some part of this circle. So how to do that? If you try to select the circle and if you try to delete it, the whole circle will get deleted, isn't it? And the same thing will happen with the rectangle. So when you will come across such a situation where two entities are intersecting with one another and you have to delete some of the portion of that entities, then you have to use a trim command. So shortcut key for that trim command is TR. You can access it from the modify toolbar and look for the trim with this icon and click on it. And every time it's better to select the everything. So I'm going to select everything. Once you select everything, you have to say enter and then click on the regions which you don't want like this, this and this and say escape to get out of this trim command. So I hope you understood where to use the trim command and what is the significance of it. Now let's move on to the mirror command. Let's say we want exactly same thing to the right hand side of it. Like a mirror. So in that case we can use a mirror command. So again you can go to the modify and look for the mirror. So which is the object you want to mirror it. So this whole thing we want to mirror. So select it and then press enter about which line you want to mirror this figure. So we want to mirror it about this vertical line. So we are going to select first point of that line and then second point of that line. And then the command prompt will ask you for whether you want to erase the source object. So this left hand side object is our source object. So do you want to delete it? So sometimes we need to delete it. Sometimes we don't. So according to the condition, we have to select S yes or no. So for now, we'll keep the source object. So we'll say N for no, simply N and say enter. And that's how we can mirror this content. If you want to mirror this whole thing at the bottom side, then you can do that too. So this time uh, we can easily access the mirror command just by right clicking. And you find here the latest command at the top, which was mirror here. So repeat mirror, select the whole object, say enter. And then select the mirror line. So this time our mirror line is this horizontal one. So we'll select the first point of it, then second point of it and say no, as we want to keep the source object. All right. If you want to delete this vertical and the horizontal line, can you delete it right now? Let's see. So if you try to select the vertical line only, the only vertical line is unable to get select. You see that the rest of the lines are also getting selected. The reason is this is a part of the rectangle. So this is a one entity as a whole. So if you want to delete only the vertical line of it, so you have to use another command which is under the modify toolbar itself and that is called as explode. So let's try to explore this. So let's try to explore this. So for that you can select everything which you want to explore. So here we want to explore this so that we can delete this horizontal and the vertical line. So go to the modify toolbar and search for the explode. Where it is? Here it is at the bottom explode. And it's got exploded. Let's see. Let's try to select this vertical line now. Now we are able to select this vertical line and we can delete it too like this and this. So we have seen the trim command, mirror command and explode command. All right. Now let's look at the offset command, which is one of the most useful command. So for that, let's create some entity. All right. So here we have the three objects. One is circle, second one is a rectangle and third one is a line. And we'll try to use offset command in all of them one by one. 
So let's go to the modify toolbar and click on the offset. So command prompt is specify offset distance. So let's specify it as 10. Say enter. Select the object to offset. So we are selecting the first circle. And where you want to offset it, inside or outside. So give the direction by just moving your cursor inside. So if you want to repeat it, you simply select that object and keep on offsetting it. Click it outside. Click on the object and give its position outside or inside. Click on the object, give the positions. So that's how you can use the offset command. Same thing you can do with this rectangle. So if you want to offset a rectangle with the same distance 10, we are still in offset command. So you can simply select the rectangle and you can offset the rectangle. And if you want to do the offset for the line, select the line and offset it. So for the line, it's kind of a copy command. We are copying the line, but at a very specific distance, which is 10, which we have provided. So that's what the offset command is. All right. So now let's get rid of this. Control A and delete. Now let's look at the move command. So for that, let's create one more entity. So this is a line I'm creating having a length 100 mm. If you want to see, let's give the dimension to that linear. First point, second point. So this is 100. All right. So now the thing is here we have to move this circle from this location to this location by the 100 mm distance. So in that case, what we can do is we select the circle, go to the modify and select the move command. Here it is. We want a center to be shifted over here. All right, so we will select the center and you can directly keep the center over here like this. All right, or if you want to move it by a distance of 200 mm, so you can do that too. Select the circle, go to modify, select move, specify the point, which is a base point. So you may specify any point on the circle or any point onto the screen, but it's better to specify the point related to the circle, like a center or a quadrant point. So I'm selecting the center once again, and I want to move it by a distance of 200 mm. So I will provide the distance 200 and say enter. And if you want to check the distance between this initial position and this position, you'll find that it will be 200. Let's get rid of this. The next command which I would like to show you is the extend. So for that again, let's create the some entity. So I will create two lines. One is this and second one is here. Let's say that we want to extend this line up to this line. So here we can do this in two way. So as we want to extend this line up to this vertical line, so we can click on one of the end like this and drag the cursor until we get a point on this line. So we got it and we are clicking on it and say escape. So that is the one way to do this. Another way is to use proper extend command. So go to the modify and click on extend. First, you need to select the object up to which you want to extend the line. Be careful. First, you have to select the object up to which you have to extend the line, not the line which you want to extend. So here, this is the object up to which you want to extend the line. So we are selecting that object and say enter. And then once you enter, select the object which you want to extend. And here we got the extension of that line. All right, here is another situation where we can see the importance of the extend command. Let's say that we want to extend all this line up to this arc. So if you try to extend it with a conventional method by selecting its end and dragging it, see the angle of this line is getting changed. So if you want to do that here, that conventional way will not work. So here in this case, you have to use a proper extension command. So again, go to the modify and select extend. As I said, first select the object up to which you want to extend the line and how many lines you want to extend. 
You can click on them one by one or you may select all of them all together.